Please. Nick Martinez um, continued the string of solid starting pitching, got himself in <laughs> some jams, but worked out of most of them. Yes, he did, and really a little uncharacteristic of Nick uh, of what he was able to do early in his starts. Um, really seemed to be pitching on the edge today. Didn't the inside part of the plate really? Didn't come into play very much for him, um, and worked himself into some situations where he's underneath on some of the counts, and and gave some of these guys some some swings. On, uh, not every day you see three triples in an inning; and they only come away with, with one run. Though I, I will say that he did he did compete well. Um, continued to pitch. I, I think a, a a growth moment for Nick today and understanding his what he needs to do, what he needs to stick to doing. I I, I still felt like felt like he, he pitched well, um, but not as sharp as, as we've seen him in, in the past. So how significant is ten straight quality starts and, and what does that do for the rest of your staff? Anytime you get a quality start, it's it's significant. And when you can put a run together of sig those quality starts is extremely significant. It's it gives us an opportunity to st we're in every ball game. One, two, it gives us uh, an opportunity to use the bullpen the way we want to use the bullpen, and and it and it allows that that bullpen to to not pitch as many innings. And and they have been I talked about this earlier today. They've been pretty taxed this year and second in the American League in, in number of innings pitched. So that's what we're looking for from our starters. These guys have been been battling. They uh, feel, feel like they're they're in a spot where they're, they're, they're very confident, very comfortable. Uh, they know what they need to do and they're, they're able to, to, to be convicted in, in all their pitches and execute their pitches. Jeff, tough day for Delino. First of all, do you have any kind of update? And right now, I, I don't. The, I, I don't have an update other than I know that um, we're getting him evaluated. Um, and right now, I'm, I have no news as to, to give you on on where he is. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a speed guy. Uses his legs. We, we're uh, we're going to be cautious and conservative, and uh, we'll wait for the report. Um, don't want to put anything out there that I don't know at this time, so uh, we just we'll leave it at that. The other part was, did he just think there was three outs at the end of that inning off of second base? I don't know what he thought right now. I, I haven't had a conversation with him about that. Uh, typically, I I wait till after the game uh, to have those personal discussions. Obviously, he didn't feel like that. Uh, um, it was necessary to be on the bag at that time. So um, another another moment that we can we can grow from and and learn from and and know that we need to pay attention at all times. Uh, Gallo homered again today. Hit another couple balls hard. He's only been up here a couple of weeks. How have you seen him even mature at the plate? Because I think he's only struck out three times in the last. Five or six games. Done a nice job of controlling the strike zone for himself, swinging at pitches that he wants to swing at, that he sees well, and uh, he's been able to get the barrel to to the baseball. And early on, you saw some chase, and not not much chase right now. And uh, you see the soft stuff that they're throwing up there to him. That um, he's able to hold that backside, and as, as you swing, as you see the swing plane in a path that uh, it's he's very close to. To those also of being able to to see the off speed, put good swings on those, and still be on the on the fastball. Just with the spark plug Delino has been, does it kind of tighten your gut just to see him go down? I'll give you the answer. I give the answer for every time a, a player leaves the field with 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 some some type of injury. I feel I feel bad for the player. The game doesn't stop. We move forward. We play. There are other players on that bench that are capable and able and ready to play. So those things kick in the gut? No, it's not a kick in the gut. 
this is a game that you continue to move forward, you continue to play hard, and, and you challenge every single player to go out there and play hard. I feel bad for Delino. We all feel bad for Delino. We're not going to speculate or take that any further until we need to. Sean Tolleson has been so solid for you mm -hmm. in the role that he is, pretty much any role that you put him in. Um, don't want to be presumptuous, but I would assume this does not shake your confidence. Absolutely not. It doesn't shake my confidence in Sean at all. And what he's been capable of doing and what he's doing, that's uh, every, every pitcher that pitches at the end of the game, they, they go, they have these type of moments. And they're, they're very rarely are they perfect. Um, so uh, they pitch on the edge. That, that last out is, it's a tough out to get. Uh, he made a mistake. And hitters at this level, they're capable of, uh, of making you pay for mistakes. And what he's done and been, cap been capable of doing, it's, it doesn't shake my confidence at all. Jeff, you have the Dodgers for the next four, two here, two there. You get back to the National League, obviously your roots. You excited about that? How do you see playing that, that brand of ball? Yeah, we get to play a couple of games. Um, National League rules in their ballpark, and uh, it, it'll be fun. It'll be a little different, and it does take a, a hitter off of, the, off of the field for us. It's something that is probably an advantage for us, but uh, look forward to it. Um, we'll get to play our rules in our ballpark and utilize our hitters. And uh, it's, it's just one of those things. And now the landscape of baseball, how, how we play it, and um, you, do, you do some things differently and, and put a few, few more hitters in motion. You, you lay the ball on the ground a little bit. And what we need to do is make sure that our, our pitchers are, are ready and capable of, of uh, adding to what we need to do when they're at the plate. Uh, it seemed like you had an inordinate amount of diving attempts today. Uh, how did you view those? Were they uh, you cool with that, or would you like a little more conservative? Or if they catch it, nobody's even talking. About I, I got what they got. I, I'm not out there playing, and and if they feel like that that they need to make an effort to dive for the ball, then uh, these guys have, they come up with the ball, then everybody's happy and cheering, and it, it's they, they make Sports Center um, when. When they don't come up with it, it doesn't look pretty. Uh, what I was m probably more happy with is that our offside outfielders were always there backing up. We were doing what we were supposed to be doing. Uh, we tried to make plays, and that's what, what these guys do. They try to make plays. That, that's, that's what this game is all about, trying to make plays. And, and they, they play hard. They lay out. They sell, it all, they sell out on, on every play, and uh, sometimes they come up with them. Sometimes they don't. Hey. Thank you. You got it.